February 10, 2021. Welcome to this program where I break down issues such as MKUltra, torture, abuse, extraordinary abductions, reditions, overseas abductions uh, from Miami, Florida and all the way to Western Europe and from Western Europe to Eastern Europe. For main purpose, main goal of this was economic negotiations between West and Eastern Europe, but it was also Asia and the rest of the world. Uh, not difficult to point out the main culprit for my losing 26 years of life on torture, abductions, forced unemployment, psychiatry, and everything that have followed up afterwards once I was thrown out of the United States of America in 2006 through forced unemployment without ever committing a single crime, any offense, anything. Our American politicians who acted on behalf, or I should say, yeah, was it the Berlin that came through a Buckingham Palace, uh, through Battenbergers or Windsors, if you like, the so-called British Royals, uh, or I should say they acted on behalf of Buckingham Palace, British, British, if you want to call this British Royals, which represented and represent Berlin, German interests. Uh, in this video, not only I was recognized in this video, but uh, you're going to hear the audio recording where a gentleman confirms I was actually in a possession of American-speaking people, uh, therefore uh, English-speaking people, sometimes from 96 and up. It was not 96, it was already 95 that all started, because I know about the business I'm going to go to next from beginning to the end. And so Americans know, because it was really thanks to Americans, this American psychologist that oftentimes would take me to this place whenever he would come for a walk, uh, where he could spot some people willing to help me out. And uh, that's exactly is the case with uh, this gentleman, whom I had met. Uh, it's not too far from here. But to get there, you have to go through nothing other than forest. I came through the forest. I did not even go through the village. I didn't go through the road. And I was actually unsure on per where exactly was I. That's how weird that stuff is. Um, because I came from the forest out. And it's like a side road. And then you go through the side road, side road, side road. And then you go to this main street. But it is close to Ratesh. Uh, this place is called Salapri Ratesh. And so this is a really beautiful gift to me. I want to thank gentlemen uh, for helping me out, for reviving me hope all these years. There is a much stuff that uh, have happened to this gentleman. And despite everything that have happened to him, he got himself in trouble. But basically everybody, whoever helped me out, got himself or got herself in trouble. Uh, he would continue to cross his fingers for me all the way to today. And boy, that's no less than 26 years. So yes, this gentleman is very, very special to me. Let's just go to the audio recording and we're going to take it from there. Um, if you cannot recall me, if you don't remember me, then, and he, the gentleman answers, well, I don't know, well, tell me. If you're going to describe me a little bit and then I will... I recall, then I will remind myself. Uh, 
from 96 and on we would come right through here as basically I point him out the forest and right next to his agricultural farming facility uh, and we would go right through here and I was not alone um, I was with Americans just as I already have previously explained from 1995 to mid-2006 I never ever traveled through Europe that's long 11 and a half years never ever supposedly I was in Europe I was all over the Europe uh, the reason why I would not travel to Europe at all uh, there are too many reasons um, I already have explained about that so um, English speak, uh, speaking people uh, were uh, Americans English speaking people were and the gentleman says yeah that's possible that is possible that's possible yep it is true it is true and I'm talking about 96 uh, they would come oftentimes many times they would go through here uh, he says yeah I can I can recall I can recall he says uh, he says uh, yeah uh, oftentimes I say uh, we would go oftentimes up and down here up and down uh, from the forest down basically this is a very, very special place for me, I told him. Now in Poland there was a gentleman who made a Christ statue dedicated one to Christ I would love to think I don't deserve one um, and he would place year 1971 that's my year of birth under that statue now this gentleman did something else this gentleman left the trash he when once he would manage to expand his agricultural facility to the to the point um, complex whatever you want to call this farm uh, you're gonna see that to the other end uh, he he would to keep uh, cluster me that this is uh, that he's gonna leave this until the day I come and uh, that I was just gonna walk past Yo, people, you have no idea how many uh, things I don't even pay attention to. But this one, I said to myself, man, I said, damn it, I said, but this is this is really special because if, if it, uh, from far away from the hill when I was going and I saw that like a big, big pile of that thing and I immediately knew it. And I said, I said, man, if he's so, um, if he was so dedicated, I said, if I'm gonna walk away from it, this this is just this isn't fair. So I went ahead and I pay attention to because of this big junk that he created. That's what got my attention. But it's a whole a lot more I owe to this gentleman. It's a whole a whole a whole a lot more. I will explain and break down all these issues in coming video. Okay, so let's go. Today again is February the 10th, 2021. I am going to go straight to the video recording which I have created. Uh, and you can get an idea about how the memory works, how that, how when you are drugged up, what exactly, what do you manage to catch over the years, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. So let's go on with this. Recognized, recognized. 
за то, что тебе запоет его. Doesn't have my name on it or my year of birth. Uh, what? And this is a very, very significant one for me. It is significant. It's crazy the whole thing, my song, because you know when this appeared here in 2004. This farmer here. He was involved in MK Ultra and started with the CP in 97. I remember when I would come here with Americans. And he, did, he was not here. He was down there. Down, down there. I'm gonna, I'll get to that. How it all started. But this is very, very significant to me. That he... In 2004, he told me, and it's actually really what he got, what got my attention this time. This, this is really, I wasn't gonna do anything, but I know that this shit sitting here. For like 17 years, even that the stuff that I see right there, I wouldn't give one 17 years, but I know there is stuff that is that long. It's mixed with other stuff. With all kinds of stuff. He is using, he used some of the stuff, he told me, but that's on the other side, I think. Uh, that he would use this for uh, farming and stuff like that, but here that he would leave me this junk, whatever, till I come. Uh, so suppose, I suppose that some of this trash actually would go back to 2004, some of it, whatever would be, or I should say it started at least in 2004, if nothing else, then it gave me an idea it started in 2004, definitely did not have a reason to leave it like this, you know, it wouldn't make him, it wouldn't make any, any, any purpose for him to do something like this, now today, today is February the 8th, 2004, he expanded all the way here. Fans this property. He fans this property, I think, sometimes like in 2002. You know, 2002. He expanded all the way here. 2001, 2002. But he started sometimes in 96, 97. And he started off on this side. And he was toward that end. First, we see this thing right there, that's covered right now. That's where the whole thing uh, enlarged, 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 enlarged. He got here probably sometimes in, I don't know, 2002, maybe something like this. It's erected this fence. So this is something where am I? I am uh, in a strange place. I yet have to find even the name for this village. But yeah, you could say in the middle of the nowhere, somewhere. I will get to that to demonstrate where this whole thing started. Where do you see on this side this uh, cover with the volume with a black volume, I don't know how you say that in English. This, um, on, on this side, this thing here, you see. Started on this side. But not here, but actually it started down there, like I suggested, and then it expanded up. But I had a feeling that it was, that, that it, it expanded toward this side here, and then uh, it swallowed all that other part also. The other side. He 
if I would go to the stages, I would say that thing right there that you see, that, that white one right there, this, the white thing that you see right there, that would be like stage one. And then he would expand all the way to what you see here on this side now. Why? Like this, it's like a stage two. And then it would expand all the way from what you see that white all the way down, all the way up here. Became like a huge, huge property. Agricultural property. Farming, whatever you wanna. It's not really farming, it's like agricultural. Agricultural stuff. No, this side here, this is what he told me always is using for. He always had also this thing here. Um, this didn't come to life in 2004. This came to life... Well, I don't actually know, because I started to confuse that pile of trash with this thing here, and he told me, no, 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 no. He said, this here, this is always reserved. This area here, this is reserved for, uh, you know, whatever I use uh, for that kind of stuff. But the pile of trash that I demonstrated to you, that's for other purpose, which... Also, it's not to be mistaken with this thing here, because it also looks like, like you would say, like a trash and stuff like that. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. Uh, the main trash place is that one right there. This here, this is always he used for, for whatever he used for this gardening agriculture here. I don't know who the person is. I have to see, but I think it's like a first house down there that is the owner as soon as you come down here uh, there is a house that this house uh, that was some beautiful lady there too and uh, that was his sister I think it must be sister and brother And I think they built another newer house next to it. So it's going to be house. Why don't I come out? It's going to be a house. And it's going to be another house behind that one. <laughs> it's going to be a newer house. And the older house is this one, which is not older. It's quite new, actually. I don't know. Maybe 40 years old or something like that. Those are like, like modern houses already classified as. But he built a new home. And then you have another home on on the other side that's those are also friends that were involved in it in this stuff so that's quite amazing that's quite amazing and i see the house up there i should know about that stuff too who built that house i'm sure i'm thinking about that too uh, that house was built Oh, yo, wait, that house was built probably, I estimate. My goodness, that house was probably built like in 2002, something like that. That house right there. And this is where it all started here. It didn't start here. Oh, let me see that. This is definitely interesting. Like I stated, there you go. He had like this here. This was like the first thing actually down there, and then this this expanded. He had he had first he had what you see the second fence that was inside. But now I bet he owns all this. Yeah, yeah. this that was this he claimed that was still not his or whatever. But I bet this is now his too. He claimed that what you see here, behind this fence here, that this was not his. But I think this is his too. Um, beyond the fence that you see right there, actually, that that's his property. That this is not his property, I remember that. But I think that's actually his property too now. This here. I think, I, I think this is his property too, but okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. So I remember quite a little something 
see if I'm ever going to meet anyone today. Yeah, that's a little beautiful, impressive home right there. Up there. Really beautiful. But that's a home right there. You see that? There you go. This, that's not. That's on the other side, I think. And we got. I gotta see it again. This is so long ago when I was here. Supposedly the people got pissed off with me here too. All right. Understandable. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I am going to do a quick, fast, what I stated, and I'm going to tell you exactly um, where I went wrong, what I did right. This thing was recorded, uh, number one, a really important uh, fact, I would say. Is it somebody would want to know when this thing was recorded? Well, it will be just the easiest thing to go and take it right from here. This is the size. This is the size of it. So we're talking about February the 8th, Monday it was 2021. Um, today, however now, it's still Thursday. So that we are talking about one, two, three, four days ago, this weekend. Uh, actually, this week is when this thing was recorded. That's one of the things I have to say. And now, let's go. Uh, what you see up here, this here, this is where I would uh, descend down. This is where it came on the other side, right on the top. Right next to that little uh, house you see right there, that's where I would come through the forest. I descended down from the hill and I would go down here and I, then I would go right around the fence, around the fence, around the fence, till I would get to this side. Okay? Uh, that's one of the things I have to tell you. So from the, the opposite side of where I'm right now at, I observed that big pile of trash right there. That's actually really, I knew immediately where I was. Look at that, right there. Okay, so this all, everything I have stated, I have stated totally, totally, totally correctly. Everything is correct. There's only one thing I have made a mistake, and that's about the fence. The fence, at my surprise, was erected nine years ago. Yeah, nine years ago sounds like a lot of time. And to me, it didn't make sense that never made sense to me. And he said, you're going to get this wrong on the MK Ultra anyway. So, of course, who wouldn't? There are trees inside in there. It's all kinds of stuff inside in there. And you can see the forest all around. Who the hell? Once he reached the other side, this side, because the farm expanded like this, uh, I was certain that he would be crazy if he would not fence one. You know how much deer is here? There's a lot of deer in here. And so that's why I was sure that this was exactly like 2005, 2006, whatever, that this fence came up. That's not true. It came up in 2012 when I was inside of the mental hospital in Ljubljana. Uh, about the farm, it'll, that's basically like this. In 1995, as we would go by here, it's when he got an idea to start with the agricultural stuff. He started with a just nothing compared to what you see here. He had just a little place where he and his sister, according to my memory, 
would start to work on this farm. They started to work on this farm. Uh, and of course, uh, the farm grew. But he did got some financing from the local, uh, I don't know, uh, it's not through employment office, but state related financing for maybe, you know, people that are promising that th there are potential that could develop into something more for the sake of employment and they, they give him some uh, subsidy, they give him some money to develop uh, this farm. This is how it all started. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the way it grew. Everything the way I stated, it's precise, it's correct. Otherwise, nothing is wrong. Now, I suggested about this thing here. This is interesting. Let me go down here. As I explain, correct. Before I speak to the gentleman, because this is this was recorded before I have spoken with the gentleman. And it's all available on the tape. Um, the whole tape I have. I have the whole tape. This is just a... Uh, I stopped right there after I recorded this stuff and I turned it on and I went there and I started to uh, to have an interview with him but I have the, also the whole recording the entire recording because I record on two devices so this about this fence and the property that is between the two fences this was according to my memory and I did not ask I failed to ask this question this was the property from his neighbor all the time all the time no matter what the neighbor would not sell this to him I don't know why but he would not sell this to him he finally sold this to him oh my god I have no idea when was it like five or maybe eight years ago maybe something like this maybe ten years ago I don't think so if it was eight years ago so that compared to my case which is 26 years of MK Ultra case knowing this gentleman that would make the case that neighbor would not sold this to him it's not completely completely neighbor but this is a such a little village here he would not sell this to him for, well, according to my calculation, you're talking about this 18 year, 18 years since I knew this gentleman. Oh, there was more than just his sister involved in this stuff. Um, his daughter was involved in this too. His beautiful, beautiful daughter. Uh, he's got a, such a beautiful daughter uh, and because this thing became political his daughter was compelled according to my memory I did not met her I just saw the children and I saw her she also walked next to the house she was extremely disappointed with what happened with me and what happened with me was a pure political stupidity she was compelled to marry I think it was uh, a Serbian guy. So there you have it. This is the way it worked. Well, if someone wanted to marry a Slovenian girl, the only thing he had to do is present me to some Slovenian guy that would want to help me out uh, and then accuse them of being a racist and to prove that they are not a racist marry basically the person of their choice this is the way it worked all the time and it did work in this family like this okay let's go to the business this not supposed to be a political video but it is i owe this gentleman much more than and that's why i state this this man when all the way to the end for me now you do see some things here on the floor just before I 
approach to this village through the forest, there was a group of children with a mom that walked down. And boy, this is just as they promised they would. And um, as I come here, you can see these branches right here. They did put them down. Uh, many branches, many, many, many branches like this, wishing me a luck, basically, as I go toward the village. Uh, there was all kinds of stuff that happened here. Um, there was some American people that were uh, hardcore Nazis. Uh, they did cause shit, all kinds of stuff like this. Then they threw me in the middle of the turmoil. Now, if they would not, then somebody else pissed me off and I would go and insult people inside of the village alone. Such is the case with the neighbor from this German. So these people had, you know, a lot of reasons to worry a lot. But it wasn't with them only like this. It was also with other villages like this. Uh, people also died and so on and so forth. It was all kinds of stuff, as I have already stated. Um... Let's go to the audio recording and we're going to take it from there. How about that? Hello, how are you? By the way, I am not going to put the pictures on it and nor am I going to demonstrate the farm. Uh, this gentleman would not want me to. Uh, but here is the deal. Exactly as I have stated, exactly as I have described, that's exactly the way it was once I head towards that side road, which took me to the main street. The house on the right, behind that house, the other house which was however renovated and i had impression it was new it was not new i got that stuff a little bit wrong and it also was not like five years old um uh, from 2015. that stuff was already renovated way back that stuff was renovated i'm gonna tell you that was renovated probably sometimes in well i think Probably like in 2005, definitely was something like that. 2004, 2003, something like this. 2003, I would say. And then you had one where I just first commenced a talk and conversation with a young gentleman for whom I believe was a husband from his daughter, from the owner's daughter. He was involved in MKR2, the two are old friends. He is from nearby too. But that's not the husband. Uh, everything does not come to you immediately. Uh, but the major work that proves the point that I identify this farm entirely uh, and even to the point that the gentleman confirmed knowing me. You're going to hear when he's going to ask why I look like this. Well, okay, what exactly he meant by that. Let's go. I did not uh, look like this. As you know, I was uh, obese. I could say that I was obese. Okay, this is, these are late videos from me. But if you look how I looked in Hungary just in 2017, um, what, uh, when I immigrated to, all right guys, just to give you a little update. When I immigrated to Belarus, this is me here. Yeah, this is me, all right. So he he had a hard time recognizing me. That's why um, the thing about it is that um, 
yeah that's me that's like uh, let's do this again that's me right there uh, I have gone through uh, a really really hard time uh, people did not exactly uh, I think understood and this isn't up to me to blame anybody this was very very improbable something like this would come to a life there's a lot of stuff that happens folks out there uh, it's not even one percent not even one percent I tell you that comes to life and this one here this was a very very improbable one but it did it did came to life somehow it did it did came to life and so he would not recognize me uh, he had a hard time recognizing me something I did not mention at the beginning of this video but as we go along he says oh yeah yeah I tell him that I was obese I wasn't so obese you know uh, I was always just uh, piling up a lot of uh, mass basically increase my weight tremendously but still I walked out of this like without scratch without any kind of health problems literally without any diabetes or anything like this so I say this because I would not want somebody to say even that they tried desperately to cause me one it did not work out one way or the other it didn't work out nothing up to date um, I will explain this issue some other time. So let's go to this audio recording and let me uh, translate this for you. The first thing I say to the gentleman is, hi, how are you? It's a young gentleman. He also was involved in MK Ultra. Just as I stated, everything as I walk on that side road that's exactly what it looks like. Exactly, exactly, exactly described. I look at the property and I say, wow, man, what, what, what came out of this? Uh, now I am at this uh, last facility which uh, this owner uh, yeah, I have made a mistake sometimes when I say rebuilt a rebuilt is when you go ground zero and then you put up a new structure again basically on 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 the old uh, on base of the old structure that I never meant when I whenever I say that it built uh, it was always I meant by this that that he would go and how oh, in Slovenia we have a completely different word um, renovated okay but renovated it's uh, we have another word for that which is much more sophisticated but renovated it's what I mean uh, this place was the last one renovated definitely was in 2015 the possibility has it however that it was already renovated in 2012 2012 uh, but at least in 2015 probably in 2015 because it's a really young kid all right so let's go on with this <laughs> I am sure that he is actually um, that he is this is probably I assume this is actually husband from his daughter all right um, yeah what's up with that house right there um, the house okay the house that you have seen on the hill I did not even bother with that yet uh, but I was correct about that house. That's like 2002 that house came to life. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's actually from his sister. 
next time when I go by, when I go past ba uh, that, I'm going to ask if this is the house from his sister. Now, if this is not the house from his sister, then this is the house from his neighbor here. But I think that this is the house from his sister, actually. 2002, that house, they started to build, uh, and it was not even finished yet, and they, they would get these goats. They would, the sheep, actually, it's a sheep. It's really, really beautiful, idyllic right there. Okay, so that's that I have to find out yet. I did not ask anything him about, uh, not this gentleman, but the owner now, uh, whether he has a sister or not. This is all from my memory. This is all from my MK, MK Ultra memory, folks, but it does not come the whole picture at once. To me, the stuff I'm talking about, and you're not going to hear me talk about this in video, this is the stuff, it came to me right now, when I went over this video. Actually, I didn't even go over. I let you play that clip, and then I sit back, and then I just go. I do everything out of memory, and it's pretty damn good. It works really well for me. Uh, wow, how your farm grew. Uh, and he said, no, I'm just a worker here. Uh, at the end of it, I'm going to play you the whole thing. Mr. Tukey. Aha, delate. Aha, freedom of just from August. Um, wow, you're not from here, I said. Uh, no, he says, I come to help here and there. Well, this thing that uh, this this is like like you would not even believe this thing. This um, the way it took off this farm like this on when you look at from far away it doesn't look like when you come close to this thing this is it's giant actually when you come close to that thing at the beginning of this farm this tunnels this stuff that has all kinds of material and stuff inside it's it's huge it's giant actually really is uh, I told him when I came here first, and like I said, I was here in 95, it all started, Nyutza, that only means like a little, little field, a little piece of land, little field, basically. That's how it all started. And yeah, he said, yeah, exactly. Well, the whole thing is exactly as I described before I even arrived to the point when I spoke with the gentleman. I, t I tell him it's 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 amazing, it's unbelievable. I was here, he demonstrated to me how big his farm became, but um, you know, I'm just I'm just um, how can I say? I'm just uh, every time when I see somebody doing well that was involved in MK Ultra, I'm just really really pleased that's the case and this gentleman well this gentleman this is this is just a, I don't know this is just really really uh, he was always whenever I would come there he would always just not this one but the owner of this place he would just uh, Sometimes I wonder, man, I, I was like, you know, I oftentimes ask myself, what's what's in it, people, are you crazy? I was saying to myself, but you, you really think I'm gonna be doing this? I mean, I was thinking to myself, but you, you think actually that I am gonna be doing this kind of stuff? I mean, think about if somebody would drug you up and tell you that this is the stuff you're going to do in life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, 
pushing borders of sanity beyond anything sane, I mean. Uh, whose house is here right next to, next door? Oh, no, 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 not next door, but the house that I pointed out. That was built sometimes in 2002, that house right there, right? He says, yes, I think. Um, he says he would not know the last name, he would not know who the owner of that uh, thing is, but I already, I think, well explained who the owner of that thing is. I ask him, do you have a daughter from, from this owner? Do you, aren't you aren't you a son-in-law, his son-in-law? I mean, do, aren't you married to to his daughter? And he said, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. No, I am, I am at this point convinced, I am certain that he is the son-in-law. Well, that's actually even for the reasons I don't want to say. Okay, let's continue. Are you sure you're not married to a daughter from his daughter? Are you, are you certain about that? Your daughter is very beautiful. I know that there is a beautiful daughter here. Uh, the sister was very beautiful. He's got a sister. I know that he's got a sister. And uh, a daughter is just really, really beautiful. I did not saw her from anywhere close. I saw from far uh, his house, which I have stated earlier, is when you come out, that you can go at the beginning, when I started the introduction, when I was doing the filming. It's a house on the right side, and then there is another house next to it. Okay. This house next to it, when I saw it, uh, it actually looked like completely, completely uh, new house. I, I didn't know what exactly is going on, whether they put the new house on, uh, they, they, they erected the new structure or um, basically what's going on with that. Then he told me that he actually did remodeled. Uh, basically that he, in Slovenian language we say adaptatia, adapterati. Mm, remodeled, this is like very English. In, in Slovenian it's actually adaptatia. Um, it's a good word, by the way. Uh, it's funny, because right now, it's funny. This house looks like completely new, but right now, if I would go, I could give you actually a sketch. If I would go there, and I would look at that house again, that was like a typical, typical... Uh, house, uh, old house, but no, I'm not going to say anything because I'm not even sure about, there was tremendously, tremendously a lot of uh, changed, and this is something I'm going to go next time, and I'm going to ask about changes and stuff like that, because I just, it's now completely another you see, I saw that thing, I saw it briefly, and I walked away. Today I started to do this stuff. Today it's a whole new world of memories that exploded in me. Uh, and so, yeah, I could sketch you what it looked before. I could sketch you. I'm not sure whether it was that. It was that barn behind or not. I, I have to go back and see it again. He made, like, for the children stuff. 
uh, so they could play out and stuff like that. Sometimes I think it was like 2012, something like that. Mm, it was not 2012, 2015 maybe or something like that. Well, I have to see that. There's not only one child, there's children over there. It's a lot of children there. It's quite a happy place. You make it beautiful. So no, he's not married. He's not married. He's just helping out. Just a friend, 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 friend says a friend. I said, where is he? I say, he is working there somewhere. I see one gentleman is coming. Uh huh. Hello, hi, how are you? Hey. I tell him, what have you done here? This is so big now. What have you done? This is so huge. This is so huge, I tell him. It's so huge. We handshake. Uh, do, can you recall me? I tell him. Do you do you remember me? He said, uh, uh, "How?" Uh, I said, "Oh, I remember you." Just in the, uh, 96, 97, we would go, just as I explained, down there from the, that forest, from that area. Uh, everything I, I described, uh, just everything I stated, everything is correct, I stated. Okay, I say that the neighbor was uh, a competition. Yeah, he was a competition. The neighbor is actually the, the house that I stated. It's actually the same age. That's about, there were like two, three friends that they were the associates. Again, this is like a young man. You know? It's about, I don't know, about this kind of same age like I am, you know. I'm not young. And so these kids they would uh, grow together basically almost you would say wear the same pants uh, and then you know when you when it start uh, when you start to be adult uh, basically when you separate i don't know what age uh, each go different ways some go to work the factory this guy chose this uh, that's the differences start to come out now the biggest problem was this political bullshit and that that stuff went out of control there was some tragedies that happened in this village some really really bad stuff happened but it happened in like in Bohumin very 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 closely uh, reminding the situation with the Bohumin so Uh, let's go this and let's do this again. Yeah, I just started uh, in 96, this stuff, and uh, the only thing there was was this thing. I point him this field, whatever. This was a little piece. Um, your neighbor was a competition, and uh, he just uh, gives me a right, you yes. Uh, 
I don't think this was just like a little field, like a Nilce, I would say, Nilce, this is like a small thing in Slovenian language, and then no, grew, 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 and... Yeah, I say, and then it was sometimes 2004. Uh, right on the other side, it was full of trash on the other side. It's still there. Um, uh, and I am very, very, very detailed. I am very, very detailed. I tell him, not in that corner, but in that corner right there, in that corner. I am very detailed because he drilled me on this trash and this pile of trash and where he stores his material for farm for farming purposes. I tell him, I say, you were the one who teach me about where you have the material for work on the farm and where you have the trash. He says, yes, yes. Two thousand and four, I said, for the trash. The fence, I tell him, you must have made that fence then like in 2002. And I make an assumption 2002 because that's what I remember that he expanded all the way. Um, I hit exactly 2002, that's where he expanded across. But that's not he, when he made the fence. He didn't make fence in 2002. I went from, I had a feeling like 2005, 2006, actually to 2002 that he put the fence, but he didn't put the fence. He tells me 2012. Yeah, he says the, it's not long ago. Uh, it was in 2012. He says eight years, that's actually nine now. The trash was already there in 2004. He says, yeah, that is possible. Yep. <laughs> 2002 already was made, yes. He gave me confirmations for everything. Everything I stated is the way it was. Okay, now I know. Uh, next time when I go, I'm going to look a little better. Uh, this is a real, real, real problem. This is a huge problem. This is a tremendously big problem. Uh, that is something that I was poised to make a mistake. There was no way I possibly could go right about that. Yes, this is where the problem is. And I have to go and I have to see it again. I did not look well good enough because finally I walked to his yard inside. I didn't dare to go just like this. And this is where you see the barn. This is where you see the house I have spoken about. Um, <sighs> The bar, uh, it's not the barn, it's, it's, I don't know how you call that, it's like stall, whatever. Uh, but that thing looked always neat, it looks good, it looked good always. And so I had an impression that this was actually his house, I don't know why. This made even stronger impression once uh, this, what I deemed was new house appeared. But this was just a remodeled house. 
Uh, but this house was so freaking remodeled that if you would see this house the way it looks like, the way that, the way I saw it, the way it looks like, it, it's nothing anywhere near like, like it was like an old house that I was sure, man, this is, this is, uh, this is, this is this new house, man, that, that he made a new house because the barn, this, uh, I'm gonna tell you this was a yellow I think yellow color barn it was yellow I uh, not a barn but yellow uh, like structure where you would store and then with a with a wood that thing stayed so permanently in my head now in this village village people didn't have including him they didn't have an option it would they were observed and they did exactly whatever they were told from Ljubljana or Belgrade there was a lot of a lot of a lot of trauma they did they traumatized me a lot with all kinds of stuff that they were not even sure what is going on with me i was taking a really really strange turn uh, in continuation i'm going to explain what just strange turn that was so they had to protect themselves and honestly they didn't know whether I am still in the right state of mind or not because because what I'm gonna explain to you in continuation so it was so political stuff he grew up in so political that actually stuff I'm talking about is quite a miracle that I managed to even brought stuff like this the traumas that they presented in MK Ultras were so severe this life-threatening situations that how can I say that they would suck all your memories that people installed in, instilled in you so that you would be helped uh, so much was trauma that oftentimes you would no longer even remember because you would subconsciously just block everything like you throw away the whole thing like you would not want to even recall remember or especially oftentimes even have anything to do with the people involved even if they wanted to help because of a single trauma they would take but in these places it was like not here but in Serbia it would be like 30 traumas like death threats per session but every time you would go there, you would go from one point to another, and it was just like a death threat, death threat, death threat. You know, like they say, Jabawa. You know, what for to tell somebody something, and then you tell him the stuff that you're going to, I don't know, kill him, and I don't know what the stuff. The person like this is not going to come anywhere even close. But I break these issues in some other video. Why this stuff started with these traumas and stuff like this, okay? In the 95, there was a lady who somehow found herself here in Slovenia. And she was a Russian. She was from Moscow. And she was a lady of some kind of high-ranking military person, politician. I don't know who she was. She acted along other two Russians that would come here. It was, it was a competition from Vladimir Putin competition so bad that Vladimir Putin couldn't handle it because it was like you would have mental patients on open claimed me that I'm gonna marry her and let me tell you that physically she was extremely 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 unattractive and she would come right here in front of our house show like the house like this okay you're gonna marry me uh, you're gonna marry me, I will be your wife, and this and that. I was like, uh, brought from the US in 95. I was like, you are kidding me, right? I said, uh, I will marry you in hell. I will never marry you in your lifetime. I told her that drugged up. And, well, she started to life threaten, and it was all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be another video I'm gonna make. Uh, insult, but life threaten and stuff like that and uh, the entire village here Kirka village was completely completely terrorized all the guys my age um, the neighbor here neighbors they would 
excuse me, but fucking lock themselves inside and they would not even go outside of the houses anymore. It was funny as hell. One of the, you want to say this, KGB guys got himself uh, a Fiat, uh, like a Serbian Fiat, uh, Stoanka, we said to that car. <laughs> and he will drive like you see in this old American movies, like detective movies, like uh, he operated a vehicle like somebody gave him he, he told somebody give me your car and people were so afraid of him that they here here is the key this is the way it was right but i was brought from the u.s and another thing is that i know it that in russia uh they're behaving here like this because they were from russia because she, the accident to me were from russia russia big russia big slovenia small slovenia small I told her, listen, I told her, uh, and to the other guys, okay, listen to me very good. And I told her like this, jerked up, I told her, listen to me very good, I'm jerked up, and I'm telling you, I'm promising you right now, I'm going to come to Moscow, and I'm going to get you, and I'm going to get your friends, and you're going to be done with it. I mean, you are going to be done with it, I told her. I'm going to go to the Russia, I'm going to come to Moscow, and I'm going to seal your fucking fate for good. You're done. You're dead, I told her. And this, I told her, drugged up. Oh, this lady, as aggressive as this was, they would come right here under the window. The window would be open, we would be inside here, and it would start yelling to come out, come out, let's go, this, that. Stuff like this, like that kind of stuff. And everybody was afraid. I wasn't afraid. I was drugged up. Should be afraid more than anybody. The stuff I told them horrified them so much they would go to Vladimir Putin personally and started to fucking cry. No, they did not stop there. They got assurance from the Russian embassy, from the Russians. They did not even have embassy here that time yet. I don't know what happened. They said the embassy here, then in Ljubljana, whatever, uh, and they give like official statements to the people that would report themselves here from Ljubljana, Bort Paha and so on, that whatever these guys do and say that they are Russians and they, they are firmly standing behind them and this and that. Well, the Russian Russian politicians in Russia and Moscow, they do not even know what the fuck goes on here in Slovenia. And so the idea that Putin got to become a Tsar was because of the attitude, because of the chicken attitude in Slovenia because when they saw that they came here and they started to behave like this and the people were just like this shaking inside of their houses uh, it was right here being a Mario right next door here he would fucking lock himself he people were so scared that you had no idea what kind of terror came to this village the only one that was not scared was I now I have scared them so much they would go to Putin almost and they told him you know what the fuck this guy said he's gonna come to Moscow he's gonna get us yeah but what about if he will go to Moscow what about if he's gonna go to Moscow and get us you don't understand he is in the US he's from Slovenia this guy doesn't have any fear in this and that that's how Vladimir Putin got an idea that's how they all got an idea about abductions hijackings to Israel and stuff sniper here sniper there uh, is coming we're gonna come hijack you anytime you're gonna disappear and stuff like that that's where the whole thing was born these guys were scared to death that I eventually will appear in Moscow because man uh, to me you couldn't handle me even when I was drugged up when I was drugged up I put the fear in your pants to the point that you would think it does it didn't matter to me who you were what you were uh, this basically is how and why. So yeah, he rebuilt, uh, he did not rebuild, he um, remodeled the house, updated the house. I tell him, it's like a new boy. Okay, the house does look a lot, a lot like old one. I remember what the house looked like, a lot like old one, but there were certain features with the windows and entrance and stuff like this that are changed. 
it's not the barn it's where you have your equipment uh, and stuff like this This is right next to that one that's where um, it's actually a beautiful old building which I think I saw it, it's still standing that thing was also um, remodeled that thing was also improved he did take care of everything this farm he updated everything so nice uh, yeah, there was no asphalt. Now it's as he put the asphalt. And then in the middle of that asphalt, he put like amenities for the children, like, um, I don't know, say, Guganitsa uh, and stuff like this for the children to basically like a little play yard for the children. He's a very family person, nice person, this guy. <laughs> I tell him if I would come from the opposite side, if I would go through the village and I would come to you, I would not know anything. I wouldn't even see a place. But because I came from the forest, well, there you have it. I know everything. Yeah, he said right. Yeah. I said, uh, I explained him where I came, how, uh, and I said, D do, you, do you remember me? D do you recall me? Yeah. I said, if you don't remember me then nobody in in, in novo mesto uh, remembers me he says yeah i know i know uh, if you're gonna tell me something more we came here in 96 no we came here in 95 like i stated but you said in the audio I said we came here in 96. we would go right across here with Americans I was. Uh, those are English speaking people I was with. He says, uh huh, uh huh. I said, uh, possible, maybe something like that. He says, possible, possible. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, uh, it was uh, more often times uh, they would come. Uh, I told him, you know, this is a very special place, I told him, but you know what, I told him, if you wouldn't tell me about the trash over there that you're doing, I would not... Uh, get into this but because of that trash that you told me I got myself into it <laughs> okay let me explain about that kind of stuff when in Poland at a second employer where I hand those heavy cables okay the guys that worked at that employer they must have loved me so much or they were insane they would keep the trash, you know, the trash. Um, they told me, you are going to be the one who's going to come here, make no mistake about it, and you're going to remove this trash. And we're going to wait until the day you're going to come and move this trash. No, no, this is real. Uh, under MK Ultra, I told them, no, no, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's not going to happen. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't have a problem removing all this cleaning for you, but... Uh, how you think you're going to accomplish and how I'm going to come to you and do this. You're never going to see me, you know. Uh, then when they would bring me back time and again, I told, uh, they told me, man, 
they told me. <laughs> they were teasing me like that. But that's very effective way. It was a very effective way because I couldn't, I couldn't, they stimulate me like this. Um, the trash is still waiting, man. We're pissed off. You see, we're pissed off. You're pissing us off. Uh, we still have this trash because of you. And I was like, how the fuck you have this, excuse me, trash because of me? I said, we told you that we're going to wait. It's going to stay here. You have no idea how much we want to clean this shit. But it's still here. It's waiting for you to come. Okay. So, yeah. When I popped up over there in that, at that employer and all that memory came out, which audio you already have, um, and I saw that trash, boy, I was like, wow, man. I said, these people really waited on me all this time uh, looking at that trash, basically thinking about the trash and me, waiting for me to come. They Eventually, they did. And so when I saw this trash, I saw quite a few things in it. And it's why I got into this. I said, that, okay, I'm going to do this one. Definitely, I'm going to do this one. I have to. <laughs> what you have managed to accomplish here, this is just incredible, I tell him. Oh, he talks about, uh, he told me something that he's going to go and uh, this is already overdue. That trash should be already cleaned up. No, man, I just want to thank you for keeping it that way, just the way you have it. And he is laughing, you know, he's laughing right now. He's laughing. Uh, I demonstrated the fans I demonstrated you a little earlier and he gave me he gives me confirmation about the fans I, I I told you about and I tell him this was a long 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 time from your neighbor and he would not sell it to you um, Back then, it didn't come to me. I should have asked him. This is yours, maybe only like six years, eight years the most, something like that. That would make it, wow, phenomenal stuff. But, you know, I failed. Um, I haven't done it. So, in that sense, I did fail. He has got this fence. You know what I'll tell you right now? He doesn't have more than his property if he purchased he purchased one in 2015 if that makes it like 21 years that property being next to his house that would not be sold to him no matter what that's an interesting one and that's something I'm gonna ask next time about <laughs> That's another one. Yeah, the, he was also involved in it. This is the stuff that, uh, and I ask, is it still from him or did you finally bought? Yeah, because now it's 2001, and it must have been 2015 that he bought. Because I think he told me in 2015 that he bought something like this. 2015, man, maybe in 2017. I don't know, but it was lately that he bought. But this is the guy I eventually saw under competition. He would not sell him this, no matter what. You know, he wanted to buy this, obviously, because it's like pertains to this strip of land, like almost to his farm, like completely. But he wouldn't. <laughs> He says, uh, he says, uh, let, let, let's hear this here again. He gave me another confirmation, you know. Okay, I need to hear this. I told him. Yeah, he says, yes, exactly. It was a long time it was from from uh, from the neighbor from someone else he points me out this exactly what I pointed you out you know? 
So this is uh, 1951. He points me out exactly this strip here that I demonstrated you that is fenced, basically. This. He points me out exactly this. Okay, I don't know. This. This is what he points me out exactly as I stated. Okay. I tell him you're you're the one you told me all about this you teach me all about this stuff you're the one who did this I tell you, you're the one, you, you teach me all about this, I would not know anything about this without you, and uh, I tell him, my friend, and I, <laughs> I shake him, I wanted to hug him, and he's laughing with me, he is laughing at this point completely. He is pleased because I think I did well, that's why. Uh, and who are you? I tell him, my name is Bustian Ausitz, of course, and I am from Kirka. And why exactly I do this? But because I look completely different, and <laughs> moreover, they were using imitators. They were using numerous times, they were using imitators, and I bet, I am 100% about that too. Also, a silicon mask that would look just like myself. They did. In Poland, they got people that have an audio and video recordings. I was told that it would be a guy like myself that would approach to them and they would give him, uh, you know, recordings and stuff like this. That's the kind of stuff. And this guy was not completely sure when he saw me if this is myself or is not. After all, in just 2017, that's like four years ago, three years ago, I looked like this guy here. This is what I was. He wasn't sure whether he see me or he sees somebody else, basically. You know, that's a danger of this kind of stuff. That's a real danger of this kind of stuff. So it's very difficult for people finally to see me in real time. And I actually look different. But yeah, that's me. That's real me. Yeah, let's say 105 kilos. In 2018, I went to Poland and did my stuff and so on and back and forth all the time. We have to. Okay, I, I said that, uh, I was sure that the guy here you have that is working in this house, uh, that he was, uh, that he had your daughter, you know. And he said, no, 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 no. He's a nice guy. Now a small one comes, a child comes to his grandpa. Uh, and he wants to help more than play already to his grandpa.
Yeah. No, they have some beautiful children here in this farm now. And it's really nice. We go apart. I thank you very much. And he has to play with his grandchild. Uh, on my way out, I also thank the guy here. And then I meet another interesting person. I go apart from him. Um, this gentleman, huh, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually a neighbor. I'm not going to say anything. No, it's not necessary. Um, now, this is where I did cut a portion of the tape. I did cut a portion of the tape here because uh, I don't feel that you should listen how I go through the village, whatever. This is just in the way out. I meet this gentleman. And this is the gentleman. This is a beautiful gentleman. This is a beautiful Slovenian gentleman. I told him that that he is not even Slovenian. I was, well, on the MK Ultra, I was nasty oftentimes. I, stuff I did was not correct. It was very incorrect. But, you know, um, if I'm going to, I'm going to tell you that if I was, I apologize. Even under the circumstances I endured, uh, I shouldn't have been like this. But and I have to tell you that if I wouldn't have been like that, I think we would have all been left in the dark. Because if you as a human being, if you don't preserve, you know, what I demonstrated you a little earlier, you know, your rightfulness, uh, even... Well, I'm go I, sh I shouldn't say this, even when you are wrong, that somebody's going to totally interpret this in the, in, in the wrong sense. You know? When you're wrong, you're wrong. Simple as this. But nobody really has the right to torture you and so on. Nobody has the right to drug you up and lie and out of lies create his own fables for his own interests and stuff like this. This is why I was merciless. This is why I was completely merciless. And anybody you know, that would even dare, you know, to point finger at me or something or say maybe he is like this too, like maybe some guy from the U.S. Uh, that Trump brought here or something like that, you know. Maybe, you know, even if you would look at me and something like this, I would, I would return to you, I would want to give you the right for you to see the worst in me because I felt that I have that right. I, I felt that I was so angry, boy, that I would actually encourage you to unload on me so that I could, whatever, if you understand me. I, f I was so angry that anybody even there to drug me up and, and put me to any kind of MK Ultra and stuff. This is just the personality I have is a very, very happy one. But if I didn't have that kind of heavy personality, none of this stuff was, would ever come out. So I apologize if I did hurt your feelings. Uh, it was not intentional. It was not really intentional. It wasn't be because I would want to hurt you, because I would want to hurt your feelings. It's just that... Um, Maybe I had to be this way to bring this to the end, the way I did. Maybe I'm sure that if I wouldn't have this in me, if I wouldn't be like this, I would never have brought this. It, this never ever would come out. You know, it was times when I would have people that were involved from Russia. In this case, uh, you're talking about the team from Putin that would be a uh, Putin, by the way. 
in 97, 98, he was really like this, that, that he felt so embarrassed by these people that he quit coming from Slovenia. He said, I'm not going to be coming to Slovenia anymore because I cannot work along the people like this. You don't understand. This is the people that really feel like people without completely any kind of education. Even that lady that I have mentioned did later on obtain some kind of university degree, something like that. She finally got another guy, and for, I don't know, he was a Russian guy. They finally, this lady, boy, they got her somebody else, and she was satisfied, okay? Let's just put it this way. In a way, she, to me, she was funny more than anything else, okay? But she really, really did anger me. She really, really did anger me. And so it was, it was these guys that would say, that would just give me these death threats and death threats, and he says, he, he says, hey, do you hear this guy? He said, I don't, I cannot believe my ears. I cannot believe what I see, and I cannot believe my ears, what this guy is talking to us like this, that he is saying stuff like this. I have not seen this, is talking about that threatened me, I don't know how many freaking years, uh, 15 years went by, 20 years went by, and uh, in meanwhile I received God knows how many death threats, who knows how many death threats, thousand death threats, I have no idea how many, and uh, I never ever changed, and so this really got attention on this top KGB people, this, this guy is just... Uh, is, uh, it wasn't once I can recall these people saying, hey, can, can you actually believe this shit? Can you believe this, what I hear, what I see here? This? He said, but how? It was times when they would, when I would hear them saying, when they would say to me, can I please kill this guy? Can I just take him now and already kill him? It was like this many, many times. It was stuff that you don't have clue what kind of stuff that was. It was wild stuff. Well, if I did hurt your feelings, I am sorry. I uh, really, really was not meant. And this was the gentleman you're going to hear. I hurt his feeling badly. Because they came up with some scenario. I don't know. They figured out that... Uh, I went... I'm gonna say not for him but for others who did this shit they pissed me off and then I presented myself exactly as I imagined they imagined me and went extra mile to look stupid to scare everybody the shit out of it and when I met this guy right now this gentleman older gentleman than myself who by the way looked like one gentleman one of my uncles, actually. Uh, and when he, when he asked me about the name, what, what's your name? And I tell him, well, yes, I'm, uh, I am Pushtian Ausis here from Kirka. And I saw him, he did it like this. Like this. It was very difficult to him, and, and um, I felt that he was un very, very uncomfortable because of the stuff, you know. Uh, but, you know, I encouraged him, I explained to him that we have to be friends, that, that you know, this whatever was under MK Ultra, or with this stuff, this was one thing, but, you know, in, in the reality, this is not the way it is. And so he understood, and I hope other people understand that too, that this is just, if somebody gave me a benefit of a doubt, if somebody doubted me, I'm gonna tell you folks, I was so angry that I wanted, I imagine, under MK Ultra, I imagine of what he imagines me, and then I, I did exactly in his face what he imagined I was. And of course I had nothing to do with it, I was not like this, but I wanted him to imagine, and then I went actually beyond, and, uh, you know, Believe me, nobody from Germany would be like this. Nobody would be so fucking crazy. And I got an idea that I had to be so bad under MKUltra that 
that these people, whatever they saw in their nightmares, is got to come to life, basically. This is how bad I was. And I scared the shit out of them. And this is just one of the people I did this to. This is just... Uh, um, I felt that stuff that was against me, this lie they developed, it was so bad that I don't owe anybody any kind of apology. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm sorry. If I did hurt your feelings somehow, it really was not intentional. So this is the gentleman that you're just going to hear me saying to him, hello, this and that, and we go, pretty much we go apart. From the same village, just two houses down. He says, I, I don't know, I don't know. He says, I don't know where I would place you at. He said, you, you don't know where you would place me to, huh? I said, no. <laughs> I said, I am also Bushtian. I am from Kirka. I lost a lot of weight. Uh, of course, the guy that cannot recall me, uh, but yeah, that's me. He goes like, oh. I so, uh, I repeat him my name. Now the thing about this guy, about this man, about this Slovenian man, he's so beautiful actually. Uh, and I always met him on the way out. And every time when I, when I met him on the way out, he was the worst one. He was like, I was trying to tell him under MK Ultra whenever I saw him. I was like, come on, I, I was trying, but these people would not allow you, you know, to say anything. You know, and so if they were really, really bad, then I really, really want them to see exactly, I suppose, whatever they imagine about me. Uh, but it's just a beautiful little uncle. Uh, and bad me, I guess. I tell him, he said, I, I don't know where I would place you in. I, I, I don't know. He said, I, I, I told him, I hope you would place me in some good drawer, not even a bad one. Open them. <laughs> he goes again, he goes, uh? <laughs> I have to repeat him again the same thing. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell him, listen, I, I tell him I know it was all kinds of shit that went on here, I tell him. I remember everything, I tell him. But I tell him it's everything is okay, everything is fine. We have to be friends, I tell him. We have to be friends, okay? I tell him and he goes, yeah, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. This is the main thing, he said. This is the main thing. And I said, then how are you doing? No. I think he was shocked. I think he did not... <laughs> I don't think anybody would uh, expect anything like this. What happened was it was rain. All of a sudden, the rain started to pour. And I went right there under... Uh, I saw him uh, right there, and I jumped right under his uh, roof. I'm gonna say, and we started this conversation, and I said, and now I, <laughs> and I said to him, how are you? How is everything with you? And he says, well, you know, like this. Uh, it, it it couldn't be worse. Uh, uh, it, it, it could be worse, and it could be better. He says. Uh, it could be better and worse, I told him. Yeah. I confirmed this. Uh, that's right. That's good. You are hard working, I told him. Yeah. He says, I'm used to, and because I'm used to, I have to. Uh, and, he, and he says, uh, and, 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 uh, what about now? I said, I tell him, I'm here, I, I just walked through the village and, uh, you know, it started to rain, went under the roof, 
I pull my vinyl bag out to protect my backpack, uh, put my hat on, and then I head it further for more hiking. Good, he's laughing, he's in a good mood, German is in a good mood, and yeah, that's the main thing. I explain him. Rain. I'll wait till uh, the rains. It's heavy rain downpour. I tell him I went for a walk knowing it's gonna rain. So I took a chance. I'm not surprised. I'm okay. Um, so a very very important part uh, I don't even know if I accent one uh, when he asks me about the other gentleman I'm gonna do that thing one more time about the weight that I gained a lot of weight that's when I start stopped and I, st I, I I started talking about the Putin that is inside he asked me about the weight and I explained that I gained a lot of weight, the gentleman prior to this one. I'm gonna have to repeat that stuff, then I'm gonna play you the whole recording. Uh, he recognized me. Okay, that's that's the important part I skipped and I did not also introduce one at the beginning of this tape. So. Okay, so we go apart, I go for a walk. That's the end of this tape, but as I stated a little earlier, I have to go and I have to find that. Two, this here is the most important. Okay, so when I explained him that I am Bustian from Kirka, I was Bustian, and that I lost a lot of weight, that's when he recognized me. He says, ah, that's why. Okay, now I know you. Okay, so this here, very, very important. I did not introduce this at the beginning of the tape. Okay, my name is Asis Bustian, I am from Kirka, but I lost a lot of weight, a lot of weight I lost. Ah, okay, now I see, now I see. Okay, one more time this, very important. That's why I can see, I can see, I can see is what he states. Yeah, you look familiar to me quite a bit, but I didn't know where to put you. No. He wanted to make sure that was I. In 2018, I went for Poland. This is the stuff I already did, translated for you. So, yes, he recognized me. Everything is the way I stated. Um, gonna do it like this go back just as I stated exactly is the way I stated folks uh, thanks thanks for watching this video in which again I was recognized along with Americans definitely gentlemen wanted to make sure he wanted to make here hear from me that I did lost weight he knew who I am everybody knows who I am uh, I just want to thank him very much for this and to his neighbors and to entire 
village uh and Ratish, everybody um i'm gonna go ahead play the whole recording thanks for watching this video till next time Delate. Aha, pite malo, pa čas pomagati. Je pa kar zdravstvo, ja? Ja, ja. Ja, jaz se spomnim, ki sem mogli skladati, ki sem pa čuje, da hiša tale. Ja. Pa soseda, soseda v hiši se spomnim. Pa spomnim se Fanta, ki je začel tole. Še na začetku je začel, je imel samo eno milce. Potem je pa raslo, pa raslo, pa raslo. Pa zdaj tukaj, ja, ja, čist nekaj drug, ga je ratalo, lej, da se ne moram vrjeti. Ja, ja. Če ga veš, da sta hiša tam gor? Tam nekaj gor. Ti ste bilo, ti ste bilo tudi narejeno enega 2002, nekaj tako, ne? Sem nazad na tam nekaj gor. Pa je bilo enega 2002, že narejeno ti. Ni bilo. Tole, ki je ugrajeno tlele, ne, ki je ugrajeno tole. Čakaj, se vi ste, vi ste nekaj v družini tlele, vi ste, vi ste, kar se vi nekaj svak, nekaj tazga, imate včerko od nekaj, kaj tazga? Ne, ne, ne. Pogajo. Nimate nekaj? Tlele, sem blizno ima. Vi ste tlele blizno ima? Iz rateža? Čakaj, ampak nimate vi nekaj, se niste vi nekaj dubo kakšno včer kot tale ali kaj? V ženo kaj tazga, ne? Nisem. Samo pomagate tale vedno? Prijate se tako. Kolega sta. Je kje pa je? Ja. Tam ga vidim na jo gospoda za kje. Dobar dan. Madonna, kaj je rata do tleja? To je kaj je tu rata do tega. Ovo je vaša naprav. Kaj se to napravo? Kaj se je rata do tega? Mene se ki spomnite? Kaj je to spomnite? Jaz tlele se spomnim tako, da bi bilo vedel, kaj na smo pa šli dol, tole, je bilo ta peta enega, 96, 97, 90, in tako, kar je bilo, je bila ta, ta omarlana, vrš se osad je bil vaša konkurenca, v nekaj tudi 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 Tole tla se spomnim, ki je bila nilca tala, ki ste začeli zmejti. Pa je pa tu kar raslo, ker od tlele naprej je kar raslo. Pa pa enkrat tam se rekel, 2004 je bilo leto. Je bilo pa pol krb tistih smetije, se je še zmeri tam na drug stran. V tem kvotu, ne v tem odtale. Ampak na on stran, vse ves. Se mi je povedal, da na tej stran, ki imate, da je tudi vse rezervirano za delo, tako je parabe. Tam na drug stran, tudi so pa smetli. In zdi se tudi, daj ti so tam pa, ograje se pa že naredil, kaj, 2002, nekaj tazga leta, tam skoč gor ti so vse. Je že bilo 2002. Tam nekje. Jaz ne je bilo, daj. 
Vai nebraukt, kas neizat nē. Vācīs ar strīvi, kā paliem, vācīs ar šķiet, ir tā atgāt tam un kaut kā. Nē, 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 Pa tādi hīša tāli gārķējā, tāli baiturīnā lieta pakījā. Tu ir pažiūt būt tam engā, vātīs ar šķiert, vātīs ar žvāju, žiblēn arī jā, man izvā. Žiblu, ne? Jā, jā. Tu prāv tūlē, ja hīša tas tev nerēdu pārši, tā ir tā tā nāva baita, ka tu nerēdu, nevēl. Tu tas te nerēdu, tu tas te pa nerēdu pārši. Tas būtu. Ob novo se jo, res, pa je taká kunova pro mě dušu. Ti boga je kunova. Měl se zde jako kde Bible nova, myslím, že zde jako pogledem mě taky kde. Takou pátou. Dobrý. Ti je pak exkluzivně vás. Jak už to jsem na pokusu se vaše vás minuje. Celá přírada je to. Co bych si z jiné strany nevyvedl nás? Když jsem pojistil, pošlu za vás. Jā, jā. Tam, kas esam par šo, pasniš un par tam un kur, pat tā ir dola par šo šiem. Jā, jā. Kā viņi mēs esat izpomnēt? Jā. Jā, jā, čia esam vienas izpomnēt. Jā, zem, čia esam vēl pārši par izpomnēt. Klēlē, klēlē esam par šie engā. 1990. Krajt vēlēk jau bija res, tu mēs res to speciāli mums vēl ar es. Ampak par mēdošanas bija cēlēs mūtīkas ir tam daudz. Tā ir mēpas, kas ir mēpas, un pats kas ir mēpas, un kad po vēro, un to sēs esat pīžu. Mēpas, to po vēro. Zara dvas, šī zara dvas. Man šķiet ir kur zara dvas. Nē, nē. Man šķiet ir. Ampak kāds tā rēda vēl ir. Kā ir tu zrāstīt tegani? Te pa prīdnē. Te pa prīdnē. Te pa prīdnē. Arī. Hvala Bogu, tagad māte, tu ir zlatā ur jedna. Tūlē, tāle, tāle, ubrāja pa vīdim tūlē, kur kur se spomnē. Tu pat daugu čāsa vusai, zai nevēm, šī ir vāša, ne, ampak daugu čāsa ir būtu sasēda, nī būtu nekā gadu būtu gadu būtu. Jā, būtu gadu. Tu tlēle, ka jie, ne? Ne, ka se grie, ne? Tu jau sveidā sasēda tāle? Nē, nē, Iz vasí, Andrew. Aha. Já. Pojď ještě změří od něj, ale jste díku. Jízdě se vá. Pomněl se, že jsem byl govoru. Víš, že jsem govoru. Ty nejste jen na tři. Ty kupuj po izvěru. To je byl větší byl. Ne. Ne, přijatý můj. Můj zase. Jā, es tev pārši. 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 Jā, jā. Es tev pārši. 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 Es tev Dva tisač, es varu mājās gadzēt, es esmu no pozitīvi. Jā. Es esmu tam, un tī nerēdu storīni, ko no prēja bāc, es varu no mēs aizspēt. Viņš ko no prēja. Gārim dāli pasot. Trebā jā, nāc, un nīmaš kai, nāc. Es varu būt par prīčam, ka tāli kvanti tāli. Es man tāpēc nav vāršu šķērta, ka tāli. Tik ir tāds, ka ir Facebook, pumāga. 
Mata face font of the other edition. Hvala ti najljepša, daj, najljepša ti hvala, res. Osvideni, hvala. Hvala. Pusti me, ajde. Hvala ti lijepa, adio. Dobar dan, Čujo. Kako je? Čujo, dobar dan. No, vem, kam bi dal. Ne veste, kam bi me dal? A ovo je Sustjan. Sustjan, a ovo je Sustjan. Upam, da je kakšen dobro predal, ne v kaj slabo. Upam, da bi me dal v kakšen dobro predal, ne v kaj slabo. No, vem, da je bil te vsega vraga, je bilo, vem, da je, vem, 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 ko ga je bilo, ampak je vse ok, no. Moramo biti prijatni, no, ne smemo, Madonna, ne smemo, prijatni moramo biti, tako je, no. Tako je, no. In kako ste vidi? Lahko bilo boljši in pojiš, ne? Tako, tako, tako. Nijemo vse. No. Prednje sta, sada da vidimo te vaše. Da. Ja, da. Malo da še, ima eno vred, ko sem si vzel sabo, pa kao pa se tudi, če bojem desiti s tem nekaj nekaj nekaj. Da ga še vidite, kako sem. Ja, se lahko tele malo potakne. Ja, zdaj je volim ga začelo. Zdaj ga najenkrat volim ga. Pa mu kot časa bo se šel. Jaz sem šel hladil s tem, da sem vedel dejansko. Da je zdaj tako. Vedel sem, da bo zdaj. Pa, nekaj. Vedel sem, da bo zdaj. Ampak šel sem na lep strehar. In je zelo lep dan. Tako da se nima kaj protivljati. Če veš, da bo zdaj, pa te greš. Pa te greš, pa te greš, pa te greš, pa te greš, pa te greš. No, ali lepo se mejte, no. Lep dan vam želim. Upam, da se še kaj vidimo v okolno. Upam, da se še kaj srečamo, no. Zdaj lepo, da se še kaj. Lepo se mejte, no. Hvala, živjo.